Um, I just came back from New York last week. I spent next to the next statue. Oh, it's really exciting. Yes, yes. And, um, and uh, let's see, I'm, I'm going to Hawaii next week. And I'm doing a, a film out there. And it's about the uh, new world of memory. And some stuff to come. Wow, you're a busy guy. And what I'm trying to be, I, I actually serve on um, that President's National Task Force for Many Communities. So we're the ones who are um, here with the before we have to do that, we're going to speak to the university and the university. And it's about media representation. It's very long part of what we're using is about the way that modern media people are portrayed in the media, um, specifically in the audio that we're talking about in the audio. So, you know, I'm, I'm especially excited about the, the recent projects that I've done because they're all contemporary people. Because there's, there's so many roles that, that we're, we're very fortunate to, to work in. That are career pieces, and, and oftentimes many people are placed in that, you know, that, that idea that we're a better from the past, and, and that, you know, we can do all these historical pieces, but people don't think of it, think of us in the modern day. So, you know, to do something like New York Statue last week is very exciting. It's a contemporary show. I'm a, I'm a person who's a part of the fabric. Right yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, I'm black and I'm white, and um, I grew up in Hawaii, and so that, that, that's also been a great thing to see. You know, there's a lot of things that we can see very negative about, about the Hollywood um, industry of film and television, but it's also been for, for someone who grew up in the South Pacific as an actor in North America. I've gotten to explore a lot of my North American interviews because of the process that I've done. I've gotten to learn so many different languages because of the historical pieces. So I don't know. How many languages do you know? Oh, goodness. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm proficient in, in all the languages that I've learned, but you know, you learn what you have to put in um, film. But I think last night, probably there was about a dozen languages that I had to learn in different languages. So, oh, my God. Can you explain this? Oh, my goodness. You're putting me on the spot. Oh, you can just have to know but if you think about that, I'm like, tell me what it is. I'm just kidding. Let me see. Okay, for some reason, this line is from the New World. And this, is, this comes in this really beautiful theme where um, it's a story of Pocahontas and John Smith, and, and I play um, the brother of Pocahontas. And, and we're sort of, you know, it's a story of the Pocahontas, and 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 it's a story of the Pocahontas. It, what's beautiful about it to me, and, and what was really intimate about it, was that it was a it was a discussion happening between the native people and what they were going to do with this kind of stuff. And it was really interesting. And what did the line mean? Um, it, it talked about um, people coming in and 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 disrupting the land that we had. And, and this this particular language, the ancient Algonquin language, at the time was I need to say that, but it wasn't spoken. Um, and so they had the linguistic sort of pieces together from the early languages in the region and they went to the rest of the world. It's so interesting to me that several of the actors I talked to this week have had to learn how to think of a kind of language or a project. And in that way, they're kind of kind of a story. You do, you know, you, there's, a, there's a great responsibility that comes along with that because, you know, when you're doing a historical piece, people just think, okay, you put the costume on and, you know, you. You memorize these words, but it's a lot more than that. When I was specifically in the New York, we were talking about that. We were speaking on the land that the, these occurrences had happened. We were speaking on the land, we were calling upon the cities that were in that region. And it still gives me goosebumps to this day, you know, because there's a responsibility to walk with the way they're doing the way they're doing. There's a lot of research that goes on your part that nobody ever knows what you do. I'm so glad you had that opportunity, that it sounds like a really rough opportunity. Yeah. Such, such a 